to the roots here. Double duelist with the Omen Sofa and the Killjoy. Very core-based composition that you know that you can rely on, but John Olsen comes close. And that's the John Olsen experience. It's like he sucker punches you all the time. He just can't do anything about it. Someone else has to go for the refrag instead. And that is going to be Fox as Sushi Boy's on the board. Pete DC now with trades. And here comes the pistols, but here comes the shots. It is going to be Lammy Snacks versus Foxes as well as the Astra there. Scary trying to hold the line versus the Sova on the high ground. Full sense though, backing on away slowly. But X10, they're going to be able to put a spike down here on A site. And oh my god, oh. Lammy Snacks. Surprise, surprise, makes it 1v1 here, black and blue. It's a 1v1 frenzy in hand. He knows where they are. It's actually the opposing Sova versus against each other. He knows where the plant is too. So Foxes, as soon as he stands up, has to be careful. Might just get his scalp removed. And, well, looking at this right now, has to be... Oh, on the swing. Fox is still... See how this is going to go. Path of Fan leading the charge. The bit of the guy in life to get some confirmation. Here we go with the curveball. It's PTC in close combat to get the take out. But Cruz with a the surprise there. Using that Bucky to catch out the Phoenix. John Olsen now taking a buckshot and going on down. X10 over... Over and out off the A side, they're getting control, but can they fend off everyone rotating? Cha la la la, gonna fall. It's all up the Lammy Stacks right now. And Fox says he knows he's on the other side, waiting for the opportunity to strike. Misses a shot though. Two v one, cannot capitalize on the combo there. Oh, it's a 1v2 here. Fox isn't scary. It's going to be quite an interesting tale here for Lamy Snacks. He can bring it on back. Odin, the Godfather, looking up above. And he's going to deny that recon ball real quick. Here comes a shock dart, though. Bring the lightning. He might have the Odin in hand, but he's not going to be, well, exempt from that. It is a 1v2. He's going to have to try and isolate the fighter. But them being in hell, well, he might need the Hades in his hand instead of the Odin instead. So as they come on here, swinging wide, scary. Nice Patifan has to see the Seekers go on in, but cha la la la, beautiful shot there on the Patifan. Even though Cruz were trying to set things up with the Seekers, it is going to be Sushi Boy still with a takedown on BTC. Advantage though still for the side of Full Sense. 4v3, behind the Nebula, there we go, John Nelson with a push, but Fox is with Crumbling Fire, still though, full sense, they're getting the causalities on the other side, Lammy Snacks right now, trying to get a few more, but the Trailblazer up close and personal, and can the Sova get on the way, guiding light, giving chase, and okay, Lammy Snacks, we see you, can you make mincemeat out of a scary, no, too busy, just stayed on that and hard scoped it, probably would have found the frag, but Lammy Snacks is gonna pick up on that, finding Sushi Boys here, Still gets him that opening pick, but it could have been a double. Here, finally, PTC coming on back for a shot. Lands true. Fox is taken on out. It's a good opening pick here for the side of FS once more. A 3v5. 3v5 and X10 now falling apart at the seams from the get-go. For full sense, every pick they get makes it life a lot easier on the defensive side. And here we go already. Patifan trying to play the entry. Jumps up. Leaps on down, decides to dash on in all the way to the generator. Right Selling the way to catch Patifan. Now spotting out the omen, but John Olsen is just so strong up close and personal. He's gonna try and take those duels towards short initially, but he's actually walking his way up here towards the market. PTC shuts him down real quick. It's big here. PTC changing up the momentum with that operator, but Cruz and Nitam with the kill. Lammy oh. Stacks though, transferring like there's no tomorrow. But in the end, it's still X10 getting the kills to play on the B side. He's making sure that his opponents are cruising for a bruise, and, and when he gets close, he just have to suffer the consequences in the first place. Now here he comes yet again, the Phoenix now looking for oh. the kills, and there you have it. Zelen and John Olsen holding hand, 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 making that takedowns happen, and it will be full sense making that retake, especially if he's right beside you because you are most likely going to be dead but Zelda, he's an anchor to remember and he is going to be able to sink Patifan there Cruz though in the meantime able to still set sail and get the counter they going for a quick throw guiding light play now catches that John Olsen there trying to peek from the garden area so X10 they open up oh. a site the way that they would like they remove the Phoenix from the equation but Chalalala he still has the lockdown so full sense can go for that retake well, Lime Snacks trying to go for the wall bang here well more like the floor bang if anything Though it's gonna be a bit difficult to do to pin her on through that because no one's actually playing on hell. A sushi boy is on the swing, he's gonna get the trade off on Cha -la, la but Lamy Snacks will get one of his own. Scary getting another one here for X10. It's a 1v1. PTC is gonna land that shot every time. It brings it now to a true 1v1 here. He does add that blade storm on up. Fox is all the way away from sight. He can actually get the half and still get away with it, but he doesn't know where Fox is exactly. Being very wary of the short position. Oh. Win right click! Easy peasy for PTC, opening up with the operator and getting the blade storm in. He has just enough time for that defuse. Any proper lineup, flash on out, guiding light to show them the way. But Zelen's gonna spray on through and land it on Cruz, finding the opposing there. 
Um, Sky, and here comes John Olsen on that Jenny play. Gonna hold it down. Oh, there we have it, John Olsen. He's trying to do it again, and there you have it. Peekaboo, I see you. But Pat Ban, he's still on the board, and he will get two there. Now, Exton, they have a chance at it. They have Pat Ban with a gun right now, and they're onto a side. But they don't want to fully expose their position yet. Give a bit of a time for the asset to go for the setup. But the turret will now say hello to the jet. So Spike planted over and out near the end of the rafters there. It. it seems like X10 will not only just do the plant here, black and blue. They're also going to go for the cost of the fight. But look at this one. No! Pat takes advantage. He will see the lineup and he will get the takedown. Love the things to play there from Scary. And he is going to go for the grafting well as well. Trying to give Pat it by the ace. And yes, the John Olsen. Make it work anyway, and here he goes, but no, Padapan now feeling the heat, getting the crack shot yet again. He got the ace a while ago, so you know in a drive peak situation, he will have that momentum. He's looking for another one, though. Not seeing anyone through the smoke so far, but on the ace side, it's PDC falling up top. Scary, though, with the kill. Padapan shrugging off the nano swarm, and this is perfect, because he knows that the Sova is here with the Hunter Fury. Chalala, though, gonna fall there. Padapan now saying evacuation time, the time to back on away, but X10 getting the kills that they need. Got the vertical angle here too, and great capitalization on that coming in there from Potifan. They knew the Hunter's Fury was on out. Zelen will get the frag in the cruise to stay on alive. He's gonna try and TP his way out though too. Now, he did not find um Lamy Snacks on that on the Sova. He was able to find Chalala actually on the rotate there from spawn, but still, case in point, he got the frag off of it, off the information. He does build his uh well blade storm now because of that. So Zelen. 1v4, looking to just save this, but they're coming his way. He could potentially find a fragment, Chalala. He does a head being found by him. That's a second now. Could potentially escape. Nope. And using his blade storm on that in the meantime. Dylan, Dylan, back on the way. Gets the kill off the boxes and the scary. Goodbye to the intel. Goodbye to the stars. And hello to a quick little door to demise. John Olsen, though, finding Pat Fan there as well. It's now 4v2 in full sense. Looking to be in full control of this one, but Cruz, he has other plans, unfortunately, for him. Knife out, and Chalala will greet him on the other side. It's now up to Sushi Boys, but like we said, you know, full sense. They still can get a handle of things. Right now, they're just getting the duels anyway. MVP performance there from Zelen, but the running back doesn't even need to get used. Lamy Snacks with the Odin. Anything does come on awry. PTC playing that vertical angle will not find a frag. He does get lots of information. Potty finds to be very careful, but gets away with a two scot free. Ready quite low. In any case, though, oh, John Olsen. Look left, look right. Unfortunately, he didn't look left again, and it was a little too late as uh, Fox has got the shot anyway. 5v3. Looking very dire here for the side of Full Sense. And this is a round that is instrumental for them. We said it already. They get the pistol. Here in mid, too, with Chalala very low. Single tap. That's all he needs. A single bullet lands. A triple for Patifan. And Full Sense. It's just. Uh, believe in the one tap gods, but no Patifan now. Moving the power of that mini rifle. Here we go. It's one, it's two. Here for the side of the jet. And the thing is. It's nice to see Patipan get these kills because oh. look at that, Mr. Black and Blue. From Bulldog to the Blades, he is red being. Gets the damage done onto the Omen. John Olsen quite low as well. And Patipan right now moving on forward. That's a flash there, but it's still full sense. Answering back 2-1 to one in terms of the trades. Low HP though for the Phoenix Fox. is trying to capitalize, but Lamy snacks. That shock dart past the event horizon of that. And here they go with John Olsen at 5 HP. He's got 7 rounds in the mag. Going to swing. Sushi Boys is going to line out with a Spectre. He's going to be so formidable. Finding a second, not the third. As Foxes will get the trade on off. Chalala will get his. That's a 1v1 once more with Foxes this time in this situation. They show their prowess mechanically. They're still trying to fight on back. Patapan though cannot hit the off shot. And PDC will punish him with a kill on the Sushi Boys. But Patapan is able to retaliate there on the opposing uh, PTC. But Cruz finding that pick in John Olsen. That's big. If it was an eco, it still is an eco here for full sense. And so... All things considered, they should be taking this round home extend, but full sense. If they land their shots here in this in these engagements, especially if Cruz can not land his like that, it might just be coming their way. But Foxes and Cruz finds one apiece. Should be a quick clean up here on Chalalala once more. Last off alive. That's to play the entry, and he has to dash on away because of the guiding light. And Patapan now with the first kill on the last snack. The shot rings out. It's going to land true every time, but Fox is able to get it on PTC as they push on in. Not able to find more here, Patapan. Information gives away going for the wall bag. Not going to find it. They're going to be able to walk their way in towards the side. Scary is going to find a double kill. John Austin, the double up is on with the triple kill. In full sense, though. They're waiting for these opportunities. They want the siege on the B side. They do know, though, for the fact that X10 is prepared. And Patapan, he already gets that coup de gras onto one more. Chalala and Lamy Snacks, though, answering on back. And it feels like the execution might be slated for now. But full sense, 
They're trying to make sure that they can postpone it. Fox is though. He's on site and ready to mow them down. Full sense is going to be walking into the Odin. Can they actually hold against this? Yes, they can as John Olsen takes care of the Sova. It's a good find here on Foxes, and they've got a real shot at making this round happen. It's a 3v2, they have the man advantage, they also have good post line positions right now in X10. With this lockdown, they're going to be uh, fended off, and it seems like they're dissuaded for even trying to go for it, but nope, just repositioning here, wanting to go for the spawn side instead. Opening things up here in Alami Snacks, he's going to get fully eaten, but... As they devour him, he's gonna they have to find oh. another one. Oh, Chalala taking so much damage on that wall bang. They've got them on the mark. They know where they are. Here comes out the stars trying to align things, but will it be an eclipse for them? As here comes a flash too. Sushi boys a second for him. Here comes it on out. They can stick the DPs on the triple and scary still gets it off. And wow, what a round from X10. A beautiful retake. And oh no! And but Scary had to stop the defuse. He had to go for the shot. And apparently, that was just enough. Full sense, they were saved by a hair here. They were saved by the time bank. And they well as no armor right now. Extendo is still holding with the Killjoy. As well as the Astro onto the other side. And Sushi Boys now with that takedown. He's feeling it after that last round. And Fox is going to be able to get the wall back there. Over to PZ. He's actually just mows down PTC from the window. Chala, though, trying to pick up that spike. Here we go now. The shot threats are coming. But full sense. They do have the time to put the spike down. X10 though, numbers advantage in the retake, and here comes Bond about no. executing them on the spot. Dead from above, and X10 will be one. It's X10 on match point here, black and blue. Oh man, full sense. This is just uh, so dire for them. It's very grave, the situation that they've inside in the second half, so it will be a bit of a discrepancy. Zelen, the only player here, actually the foremost player here for the side of FS, he's gonna find one. Ooh, PTC ooh. though, chiming on in with a Sheriff on pistol. Who does that? Well, Foxes, he's able to get the trade off of PTC. A second, a third for him. The Sheriff laying down the law. Outlaws, be aware. His sushi boys, he's gonna get the secured. And it should be the Bladestorm. Oh, he didn't go for the orb completely. He got scared by the smoke. In any case though, Zelen holding the line onto the yellow box, but Foxes with a takedown. A good swing there from Foxes, while uh, the Blade Storm isn't up for PTC just yet. Just having that idea, look at that, Cruz just pushing on in here. Another Guiding Light to show him the way, and he finds a second. No, he won't, Lamy Snacks, fending him off, and Chalala gonna answer on back, but it's a 2v2 here. Spectre is retrieved now, coming in from both sides. One Spectre apiece, and will be on a Sova. The Fox is getting that frag, and Potiphon down. So, Potiphon, while he may be the biggest gun here, Fox is the most accurate, and Pot Defy, he's gonna land that shot with the side of that yellow being held here by the side of Fest S, but Cruz, a double coming his way. Zelen, he's gonna be taken down eventually. Scary finding one of his own. John also oh, coming boys. on here on the right now. He's gonna whiff that, and there it goes. Sushi Boy's heftily punished on that. It's a 1v2. He can actually make this happen. He's the Reyna. Does not get the heal up. Oh, what a shot here from John Olsen. Brings it to a 1v1, though he's very low, and he's out of any heals. He does have the Leer, though, and the Empress to apply. And all of a sudden, if you get that headshot, it's gonna be so clutch here for full sense. Go for a bit of defuse there to peek up from scary and towards mid. He's boosted on up, has to realize this. Oh, oh, oh gonna play this. Trigger discipline. No! Oh, with the first, but he does get the second. But Patifan on the other end of things is gonna find a frag, but John Olsen gumming the double with the Guardian Guiding Light here from Cruz. He's gonna find a double of his own, but PTC shutting things down. And what a great come. Oh dear. Well, Hunter's Fury out here. He does get the tag off of that there in the Zelen. Not much more. He will. Patifan crawling his way in the kitchen. And he's just going to cook a souffle here for John Olsen. A second as well. You want one of your own. Here's a... Looking to believe the flank if ever. But in the middle, John Olsen trying to go for the close contact. It's not going to be enough because Patifan is there to get that takedown. And X10 now setting up on A. And oh, Foxes oh. with a proper alert, the proper timing, proper patience to catch out Zelen. He's oh. fighting people from afar, but he still does it. Apparently, it's an Arthur. Fox in the main thing, but Lammy snacks there. Finally shuts for the fight, but he gets dinged there by Patifan. 10 HP now to the siege here on the right side of the map as Patifan there over and out, try to play the updraft, gets back to Phantom, but PTC with a proper timing, cruise though with the counter kill, and now the Seekers are in the play, but Chalalala getting a takedown now. He has the res. Can he get a corpse though? That's the question, as it's 3v3 and X10 finally putting the spike down. 
Took in that one. It's a 3v3 here coming in from Talala. He does have the resin, so he can potentially get one more member up online. Maybe PTC, maybe John Olsen. Both have Opter. And well, there you go. PTC will be coming up back. Sushi Boys on that trade off on Zelen. And Talala even finding that, but the double coming in from Scary. Terrifying he is. He's going to have to find a third here to find Lemmy Snacks and get the clutch on off. And Zemi Snacks trying to make this happen. Will get that third here, Scary. They've gone through that journey, that gauntlet over the best ones, over the best of threes from the lower bracket finals and more to get that revenge. And by God, they want to go for it. They want to beat one of their biggest rivals here from their own region, from their own scene, but X10 right Some historically good performances against X10, but X10 right now, they're looking to take this quick and swift. A third for Sushi Boys. He's on the path to getting an ace here. Does pull out the neural theft and know exactly where they are. Zelen will be, they're actually both here towards screens. Each finding a pick though, but Sushi Boys finding a fourth. Broken, they can't not get a break here, but okay, that was so close for Scary, but the fight for Spit is still online. He has 8 HP, Sushi Boys protecting him, Cruz is there as well, and X10 right now, right place, right time, baking a souffle on the A side, and it seems like this is gonna be a treat here for X10. Well, it's a complete poison pie here, Potiphon finding that on the PTC. As the Viper's Pit is up online, they will be able to get the plant up, but John also in the flag is gonna shot Fakas down. That's huge. That's a backline defender now removed here, and Sushi Boys will get it on the Zelen. It is now a 1v4. He's gonna have to pull out the clutch here, an ace clutch to bring his one home. Gets that one to cruise, but up above, Sushi Boys. Really don't see them play Icebox. And right now you can see why it's 9 to 2. Still a chance though, but PTC falling early on. Oh. And not a bad there. Just executing, pinning the Omen to the wall. The container <laughs> gonna get shipped with the hoodie tonight. Chalala though, it's gonna fall as well. And that wall is not gonna do anything. It's completely broken already. John Olsen though over to the high ground, but someone is chasing him at Cruz. He is the hunter here. He is getting another takedown. 10. No, it didn't matter. John Olsen now to the mid. Here we go with the screen in the way. John Olsen though with the kill off of the jet. That's a good start here and can the reina get some more he only has one more up to use cruz though on the board ptc the sheriff god is back one on the beat looking remaining. for the beat down he's gotten three so far it's up to scary now to figure things out oh well it's a 1v4 here right now scary is able to find that with a classic in hand but scary knows his stuff knows his setups and he is going to be going for the fight here there you have it scary right now cooking up one from the boiler lamb snacks going on down zell no in the meantime trot to surprise sushi boys but since he has the camera there over to yellow he knows no one is oh. in position john olsen though comes close with the guardian wins it out anyway ptc with the blades after the fall of the reina and it is gonna be 3v2 after everything is said and done foxes though catching out one catching okay. out if sushi passes you in the conveyor belt might as well not go for it and Sushi Boy, he proves it there. That is such a solid hold there by the Cypher. And honestly, from Sushi Boy's performance after that single whiff, he's really stepped it up for the team. And this basically... Taking on down. It's a good opening find for them. Sushi Boy's trying to answer on back, but nothing being found. Information given away. Potifan will find PTC. Yeah, there we have it. Boxes though. Haunt the Fury so secure with the shot and that takedown. And this is big because Full Sense have been relying on the duelists to make the openings. It's been the big reason why they've gotten the A side. It's up to Lamy Snacks right now to get that takedown on the fan fan, and he does so. But Sushi Boys, he is still a beast unleashed. Tries to go for another one, but Lamy Snacks and Full Sense are standing your location because I'm gonna give you a new vibration. But no Zelen still able to hold that line. Full Sense. Blade Storm trying to make a play, but the eco coming in from XM. What a great shot there from Foxes all the way in the boiler just deleting ptc that's a huge huge find for him taking lots of damage but this flag from oh, sushi oh. boys it's gonna be amazing too he does have that blade rather sorry the vandal retrieved and of course here comes out the ultimate they know exactly where they are hats off to him cruise capitalizing in that too dax oh intelligence yet on icebox pat Vando over to the operator and ptc's life is over already oh a quick opening round here so extend they do find that opening pick. Oh, look at this flag coming from John Olsen, though. He snuck his way in. Dismiss on now. Glammy Snacks will get the trade off there on his Sushi Boys, covering his retreat. And they've just opened the thing on up. They should be able to get the plant on here as they do. Scary will find Zelen to bring it to a 3v2, keeping the round still alive. But they've got their work cut out for him. On Olsen versus Batman, a tale as old as time in the Thai scene. You can really see why getting kills for their teams. Full sense, able to make an opening thanks to the efforts of the Reina. Scary though, with a backstab, not gonna happen whatsoever. Lammy Snacks is feeling it, and since he's on the Sova, he's gonna be able to hold those angles. Cha la la, making still. Well, it's a third, rather three rounds away from tying things on up here. 
great play coming from FS in these dire situations. They made the comeback almost happen with two away from tying things on up. But now Extender should be able to buy and they're going to be put to the test here. Can they stand up to this? Can they hold up to that? Even after the great shot there by uh, Hatefan, still, now with the guns, this is where they really, really are going to try to make the stand. They need to shut down the entries. PTC, John Allison, Lowry Snacks. If these three fall, it's going to be difficult for Full Sense to actually... Closer than he even realizes. He's looking up all the way there towards like the nest in the back of A main. But here comes a swing. He's going to land that flick though. Gives him Blade Storm and looking to take the fight close. Oh, a single tap. Two taps. Two kills coming in from Fatefan. Will he get the third? Here he goes at distance. A triple kill for him. A 4K. And they go for the take. Even though Zell and Chalala have been incredible. This just hasn't been their map in terms of getting those clutch kills. And the stickler there, but Scary has to back away as the Molly comes in. John Olsen goes in wild, utilizing the wall of his teammate. And this should be a fair little push onto the side itself. Fox wanted to go in for the take. Lamy snacks instant into the corner, although his body spotted at the edge of the sphere of that smoke. And playing around the smoke is the name of the game here. There were quite a few that were deployed from them to dip and dodge into. And Zelin, 21 HP. That's a snake bite. That's the lineup has already been used. Chalalala has one more himself. He has the Molotov. Follow on top of the snake bite. He gets it off before he goes down here. And Zelin, what is he going to do here? They have to defuse already. They don't really have time on their side. Peak. Initial push without really having to truly die. PTC very close onto the side of the corner there as the camera does dink him. One to the back, it's gonna be Sushi Boys who comes into the side and the flat versus four. Not looking too good. This is not what they want to happen in Patapon. The bloodlust on this one coming right in, leaping into the capable hands of Zelen who does And Fox is about to come in. Oh, that's gonna be enough. That's gonna be the, oh, it doesn't. I thought he knew the light. I thought he had the lineup. He, does he have the timing though? He does get spotted and he gets no. the kill. Four. To be a, a def definite hit on to be. Can they get it? Hunter's Fury is going to find one. So will Cruz. So will Sushi Boys and X10. They're hanging on here. Keeping a clean. Mm, I don't know, man. Maybe if he can get this. No. <laughs> Not even a chance to pee and kind of go for the baits and bait out the utility as well, which allows the rest of X10 to basically do that. Although, shot to scary will be good. 4v4, 4v5, excuse me. And up from above APC, they get that big kill here onto Fox. Patifan still alive in the bathrooms, always a threat, so I wouldn't count him out on this. This is a pretty good position to have. And the swing and the punish from Patifan doesn't matter. If you swing wide or not, he lands the connection, dashes out for safety, and suddenly the round turns on its head. 3v2, Zelen, Sha la la la. What can they do right now? Seemingly like nothing. As time ticks away, so will the spike. But Zelen gets one before he goes down. They're waiting for the smokes of Astra. Granted, here we go with the explosion. One into the corner, and Scary has yet to really showcase where he's at as Potiphon becomes the bearer of openings for his teammate. Lamy Snacks and Zelen good for the shot. Zelen has to frantically go for this. Has to be aware the Potiphon is into the corner and denies him that chance. Whips out the blades. Oh, that's going to be enough time, just barely, but Cruz already with the big flags, coming in with a big flash as well, and that corners PTC, there is nothing that he can do to punch in and finds nothing, and then everybody just comes out. Well, let's see if he's going to be able to go for this post pant. They do have the best chance right now to get everything coming into their favor as the ultimate comes in from Chalalala. Lamy snacks into the corner, good for the shot, able to connect, and all left into the hands of Fox, who does take down John Olsen, but this is still not looking too bright for him. As there is two here, about to swing out, we'll be able to find Cha, but look at that shot, it's not connecting and goes in fire to boot. That's a good entry and it's a 4v5 here, can they still prevail in this round? They've actually managed to upgrade their weapons here. They get PTC on a rifle, but it's not going to matter as John Olsen and PTC, they're cleaning things up. Patipan with an AWP, the last man standing, they're going to hunt for him. They want this AWP out of his hands so very badly. In, activates his ult, but amount of CCs that comes out from Scary is definitely frightening. PTC though, nice little entry as he gets another kill, whips out the showstopper, and he's not past two rounds. 
good momentum swing in their favor. They take a couple 30 seconds on the clock, but they're gonna have to make the move now here. As he gets mollied out of position, still gets the fadeaway shot in the end, and the Seekers come out to help them find more information. So they have their own jellyfish. Monsters. But oh nice little shot there onto the wall. Spots up Fox though who gets the double does have his recon dart. Although in a slimy snacks to go for the change in Fox where, where Sushi Boys is looking at. He knows the flag is about to come and Patipan is ready for this elevated positioning for him. I have the high ground and he spots them out in the air with help of Sushi. Uh, for those piercing of the sights, so although they immediately go for the rotate, Zelen good to go for that connection, has to back up uh, away as PDC finds another on the other side. These rounds have just been so tight here. Cruz is able to find one and scary. Look at him wrong and he's gonna go down, but you're just saying, yeah, well, maybe we are, but it's still working against you here. And Shalala, gonna get a try. Sword short, but doesn't really get any value off that play here. But Zelen does, Patifan, somehow still doing Patifan things. John also in the corner, peeking out in time with the Seekers. Patifan finding a triple kill here, and he is not done just yet. Has the Vandal in his hands, trade right there. Lamy Snops and Scary, thing that they want. They know where one is. John Olsen pushing through here, but he's slowed down. He's tagged up, and Shalala doing the cleanup, getting two. And PTC, this round could be just an absolute disaster for X10 here. The spike getting defused already. Trying to go for the lineup, but will it matter? No, he's gonna stick it in the end. And that's going to be another round. Full sense making a comeback. The rest, Fox, to actually charge right in. And this could be bad, but he does have backup now. Still a minute left onto the clock. Not a, a chart full of plenty of time. Fox, though. Would not blame him with 35 seconds left on the clock. And still a lot of ground to cover. Having said that, of course, Patifan. Is this one of those Patifan rounds? Could very well be. Oh, that's awkward. And they both dash up in the air at exactly the right time, leaving Patifan alone. 1v3, 30 HP, doesn't matter. PTC And it's gonna help them sort of hang on to the side here, but the dash already coming in. Full flash, beautifully timed. Will force back anybody who's on to site. The Hunter's Fury will do a little bit more damage as well. Can he find a kill? No, it's not gonna be the case here. But the Astras gonna go down here for now. The Astra, rather, going down here for now, but Still, a 3v4 situation. This is a good way for X10 to get back into the round, get back into the half, especially after all the rounds that they just previously lost. That was so smart. That initial frag from Patifan really started it all. The flash is also good. What you can do when you have all those abilities. John Olsen's about to explode here on elbow. Nobody actually has the angle on him, but actually, as I say that, Fox is staying on Octagon. John Olsen, you know he has the clutch genes in him, but he did he bring his genes to work? As now he has to go into two versus one. But imagine if it's like a basketball agent that comes out maybe in the future. I would play that. Oh, no not so happy about fun. that push right there from PTC. A little bit unwarranted actually why go for the push when you have an advantage on the defensive side uh just a little bit sloppy for me and they might just lose the round because of that one PTC is so crucial left. for his team pushing into a viper wall like that definitely should be punished and it was leaving us in a 2v4 cha la 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 he's just jiggling the angle and there's no oh. chance sushi boys just clothesline him back to hell with you and maybe zelen left and he should probably go ahead and save here nope that's gonna be the four versus just go went around with it. <laughs> and they got baited. Amazing. Yeah, baited hard. That was Scary's cosmic divide use. And the thing about that, again, you can hear your opponent at the other side of that wall, but it's incredibly muffled. Anyways, oh, the retakes are gonna be good and cha la la la. Where does he hit those shots from? Just running out into the open. And speaking of running, I think I think it worked against their favor. Because Oh, before I get to that, Patifan, he's doing some work here towards mid. Spots out one. The aggressive play by John Alton. Quickly traded 3v3, and so... Slowly at this because they want to be able to explode just in the nick of time, which they do. Beautifully executed here from the rest of X10. They know that he is in the back of the site first, but he wants to go for another challenge. And he gets it. And will he create a playlist a la Spotify styles? 
He does have the wall through there, and he's not going to get faked out. You know he's not going to get debated, and John Olsen, he has to peek onto the other side, but he's good onto the flank, onto the kill as well, and he's hunting another. Although his opponent, Cruz, was just about to whip out his weapon, John Olsen quick on the trigger, and the rest of X-10 all but abandoned the B site here, but they still have to respect that the biological terrorist is here, Zelen. Too good on the take, too good on the kills. The corner, Patapan, he's got to be careful because now he has two opponents to deal with. They're onto the U-Haul and swiftly backs away. X-10, they're not really going about this. They have 50, 30 seconds and they baited all the ultimates. Now they just have to connect the shots, which they do. And this is smart, incredibly intelligent here. And Pete oh! has gone down, got in a couple of kills and Patapan, Patapan with that shit. It would just be heartbreaking for full send. Looking for the ace, and he does! No, it's the Spectre! It's the Spectre from Fox! No, they're rotating over one. They're losing left. Fox, and he's tr transferring to A. But it's looked like already it's going to be a B-side anytime soon. Oh my goodness, and like a Viper, he strikes. Watch out, watch out! Scary, though! Underneath of the Waterfall and Hookah will at least be good for one. The problem there is John Olsen, which is at the follow. This is a nice little pocket port positioning for him. Comes into the side here. Potty Fox fine. is onto the other side. Oh, this is going to be so disgusting, but it leaves John Olsen into a two versus one. Spike is to be planted down. He's playing along the corner here, but no more flashes to fuel his clutch. Although, maybe just the angle here. Oh, he got spotted by the camera. Maybe he is. They're going to be peeking it out. The cloud burst. They don't know. They don't know, but he has to reload first. And what is going to be the play if he can get the shutdown? Is he going to go for the chase or just go for the defuse? He's going to go for the defuse, but baits it once again. And John Olsen, the only thing that he can really do. And his opponent is pro level. I don't know, or maybe he just forgot. In any case here, PDC gets the first kill. This is looking pretty good. They can actually go for a straight up into another round. And I don't even have to get hyped for this because <laughs> it's, it's done? done already. It's full sense to have a bit of understanding of what is happening onto the B side itself. As Cruz will get spotted, he tries to dodge the bird, but the guns of his opponent will be good in full sense. This is looking actually workable for them, digestible, mind you. They get the kills, scares into the corner. I don't think they know he's going to be here, but Chalalala is good for the peak as well. And now Sushi Boys and Patipan force the clutch. Patipan going down here, leaving one. Sushi, he's gotten all the way onto elbow. Yes, they will. Lamy Snacks here. Mine. Fadeaway shot there from Lamy Snacks to secure them that round. No pauses. How do they find like four kills away from a th stars? In this day and age, you need to have something recyclable, and at least Astra has as well. X10 will be coming. Ooh, Zelen almost on that contact with Sushi Boys all the way through onto Shower, but they heard they were holding the first contact. Sushi Boys looking at the flank PTC. Can he be good on the shots? That's going to be a resounding yes, and the pinch is going to be here. It could be good. But this is a three versus four with the post plant. Everybody from X10 is just positioned at U-Haul. Yeah, U-Haul is the name of the game here for these guys. Two members buried into it. Make that three. And they're all going down one by one. Oh! Why would you all play in U-Haul? What on earth has just happened? 30 bomb, but that's not really what's going on in their minds right now, is it? They want a clear, clean round to get themselves also a clean contact plays with recon darts is such a fatal combination Potiphon goes pushing in onto that smoke he's gonna have to find somebody and PTC just too much under the quick trigger although another lineup here for Cruz does be good onto the connections he's gonna be reloading and he's gonna get caught Cruz what a punish Spike has yet to get planted down but there's too much too many to deal with and on the to be fatal Patipan is gonna get welcomed by a crossfire here. They come in and swing. The reload is not gonna be good, but Shalala of course will be with that defense on his teammate. And he gets a 4k. He's not done. Although Fox comes in from the side. Sorry, a dash play here with a smoke. Always a crucial thing. Always good for C. And when you're in Haven, that is the play to go. But PTC. Where did he come from? Does get the kill here. Backs away first. Lamisnax is about to go for the peak. And John Olsen's not going to allow his teammate's sacrifice to go unrewarded. But gets rewarded with bullets from Sushi Boys that the rest fall down. Still, the trades will be abound. They're very low. Very workable situation. They're going to have to use an additional ultimate. Okay, X10. They're using the Rolling Thunder just to be able to force them back. 
This is just so much utility, so many ultis being deployed here in one by one. Look at this! The retake just falls flat as X10 hold on to the site cleanly. This forces Full Sense to go wrap all the way around. It's still 5 versus 5, very workable for them. And because X10 basically use almost everything plus their flashes, it's gonna be shooty shooty bang bang in the words of uh in the words of black and blue. Here we go. And that's the Hunter's Fury deployed. Not really gonna make its mark right now. Not gonna not really gonna find its mark rather as John Olsen does, however, Sushi Boys. Good for the lineup. Takes down PTC. Lammy snaps, trades it down real quick, and Cruz, yet again, something has been really popping off with Cruz lately, man. He's been hitting everything and been an anchor, been a stalwart for his team. Whatever round it is, Cruz is there to show up. If it's not Potify, decides to get sneaky, decides to go clever, and goes for the big flank here towards mid. And even denies the spike being planted down, but gets traded off himself quite quickly. Oh, Potifine could have a field day with this peek out. Does get spotted by the Sova drone and has to reposition. Respect on that. Was that the enemy team's uh, Astra Star? They heard him drop down. They, they have to have heard him drop down. Potifine, what are you doing? Gets the kill onto PTC. And there's no refrag because Lammy Snacks is already going for the big lurks. He's all but left his teammate there. Chalalala will be coming in. Does get a couple of frags here and there, but it's all gone to the wayside. They have basically, if you think about it, shredded it like a piece of fried chicken. And this is X10 taking this the B site with so disgusting to look at. And it's really effective too. Indeed. Well, it is only an eco, and so X10 will will be playing this a little bit safely they don't want to lose too much so and, and that's exactly what they do they play together they play as a unit they go for trades they take the site and they make sure that there aren't really that many opportunities to pick up rifles on the side of full sense which is pretty much as crucial as it gets ptc does have one though and so he's gonna get flashed oh. off and good adjustment however to find one but the stars dropping down that's gonna be the signal to dash in and go ptc gets spotted out What's he gonna do? What are they? How are they gonna hold this off? It's John Olsen and PTC to get one apiece, but it doesn't matter because Sushi Boys and Fox will trade them right back. Potiphar and Cruz gone from the equation here, but that's okay because look at this Sushi Boys. Oh, if he planted that, he would have had he would have had his ultimate on this round. Just not going to be what happens here, and that's the look at this. He's gonna cancel it. He's going to cancel the ulti. Doesn't have enough. Oh, he doesn't have enough. You're right. That's huge. They still have the nano swarms. They have to charge in through this. That turret will not be too good, and this is gonna have to be the contact that Lammy Snacks does need to go and clutch out the round, which he does. Guard PTC is about to go for the swing. He better batter. And we'll see if he finds the one. Great connection onto Fox here. And this is where Full Sense mount their comeback. Although that Regan Dart does spot a PTC, they still have to be aware that the numbers is not into the favor of the rest of X10. Now they all but abandon the shower area, or rather sewer, and they go for hell. But the big flags from John Olsen is about to pay dividends. Scary does get another one. He's challenging, gets a third, and, oh! <laughs> and a fourth. Where does Scary find? And you can see people like Scary just tapping into that uh, into that mode. One for one trade will be there, but that Kiljo ultimate will still have its full duration. Potify with the quick charge, looking to maybe find somebody who got the tank at the back of the site. Will not have a connection here, and the rest will be coming in. Smokes to stop them. John Olsen good onto the shot. My god! It's not only Scary who can come up big, it's also John Olsen on the other end. Lammy Snacks covers himself into the back of the site with the judge. Has to respect for him, but the back of the site at least. I love how Fox just sort of leaves. He misses the opportunity. He misses the shots. Dodge. One onto the site. It will be helped out by this Astra, but it's first on Scary. Another one on Sushi. Gets one into the corner, but it does leave Scary to try to make things happen without any bullets left into the chamber. And John Olsen comes up big. Last man in the back. That's going to be full. It's pretty big if they lose more money and can't just get those refrags. Speaking of not getting those refrags, cannot chase down Patifan through that tailwind. John Olsen flirting with the idea of getting this B site, and it seems like he went around onto the entrance. Does still get a kill on Olsen, but he's still going to be good on the connection. And this forces X10 
Oh no. I mean, they should be able to get the spike planted down, but they went to. They actually went to B. Okay. Okay, just a little bit of game of ring around the rosy for a second, but in the end they get the spike. Planted down in the 3v3. John Alton will be leading away. As um, he is playing close and personal, but Patipan planning the first, but Sushi Boy will get the trade and leaving us in a 2v1. Zelin will have no chance in it, and that's the of a god. 180, 180 again, and it's just the sight of it. It's just a thing of beauty now. Patipan! Well, oh, I thought he got that kill, but yeah, he falls down, drops from heaven, and is able to get backed up right there by his teammate Fox to play to go towards A here, but it's a little bit ill advised as. There's already three members for full sense ready, laying in wait, trying to spring the trap here upon the members of full sense. Quick swing out by Chalalala. They take Patifan down, they take Fox. Scary still alive, anchoring sight. Doesn't matter, he goes down. 2v2 in this 10 second duel. But Cruz with a flash, beautifully done. He gets another one, and he's blinded forever! No. Reach and Astra, they just have so much in their arsenal against you here. but. Quick plant towards B here for full sense. Look at that dash. So confident. Padipan with a blade going to the back. He finds one. He gets traded. And that's going to be the shock dart in this enclosed space. It's going to do so much. And they're going to block all the vision towards mid here. All right. They're going to try. <laughs> no. I cause Big Divide's about to expire as well. Recon dart will connect, but it will not get... Patifan really looking for the aggressive peaks here. He wants to be able to go for it, but now, right behind him, PDC. Gonna get the challenge in. Trying to get clever, trying to get cheeky. Patifan, what can you do? Can he find one more? Just shy of the third kill. But he's able to do enough to buy a rotation and a flank for his team. Wait, Just that that's one the move. Next. Exactly. Who's just on short? Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. no. Oh. It's gonna be good for a kill. Looks like that's gonna be a resounding no. Killjoy Ultimate will delay just the inevitable, but it doesn't really burn a lot of time for that spike to explode. And this is the 5 versus 5. No this is where run. we hold our ground for X10. We hold our ground for full sense, and that ultimate was trying to spot out the Astra. It does get a charge, but not really the kills enough. Use the cruise ult to start everything. One for one trade. Cruise into the back as well with scary. Recon dart will spot where they're coming from, but would still be the inevitable as the left and right members of Full Sense are going down. Still, John. I'd really love to find out more about the lore. Okay, long range one tap right there. Zelen in business. John Olsen as well. Player standing. And suddenly X10 are. Scrambling, struggling, flopping around on the beach like Bind or last round on not last round, sorry, but last game on Bind. And they're looking to do the same thing on Haven. It's Heaven or Hell. Hug the right side of this corner just yet. And PTC on that first contact. PTC didn't even know what was gonna happen. Ulti straight up used here by Cruz. That's the backup. Hunter's Fury is good because he knew where John Olsen was coming from with that run it back. They pay the price for it and Destroyed. Going to be a pretty sizable advantage now for X10. They could claim it right here. They could be the Iceland representatives. And they could do it, but Lami Snacks is looking to delay a little bit further. That's going to be the lockdown deployed as Patifan yet again goes huge. He's been phenomenal this game so far, but there's still two players left standing on the full send side. If they get these two kills, it again is oh, Iceland no. in the... Oh, the cosmic divide here. Can't even get to can't even get to half here, but they have found one player Zelen. Oh no! And Chalalala, he's detained. He goes for one. He can't shoot through it. Oh, heartbreaking loss!